Growing up, life was chaotic. Uh, I guess I say chaotic. It was uh, to me, it was normal because that was the the, the lifestyle that, that my parents had lived, the, the lifestyle that I seen my brothers living. I was not raised in the church. I think as a growing up, I don't think me and my family ever been in the church together. It was a uh, it was a lot of drug use. We started off doing uh, one drug and it. You know, as time went past, we, we got on harder drugs and, and harder drugs and started going down a path that that was putting me in danger, that was putting my life in danger. Me and my mom had a, a, a great relationship, but because of the road that I was going down, because of the things that I was doing, the, the people that I was hanging out with, uh, she didn't want to see me dead. So she took the steps and she turned me in uh, to the to the police in the area. Uh, said that I, I had some drugs on me, and uh, they came and arrested me. I was in the county jail for about three months before I was sentenced to the Texas Department of Corrections. Before I went to the penitentiary, I met my wife Annie. I met her through my sister. Uh, I was in a, we dated a few times, nothing real serious on, on my part. But, uh, you know, whenever I got sentenced, whenever I got in trouble, she didn't give up on me. Uh, she, she was there for me. She would pray for me. She would pray over me. She still, she continued, was, was faithful. She came uh, every weekend uh, to see me. And, and I think that's where we really, really uh, fell in love, the, the both of us. I proposed to her uh, in the visitation room in the, in the penitentiary, and uh, she said yes. When, whenever I got out, uh, we ended up did get married in uh, October of 89, and uh, things were tough because I, I fell back into my old ways uh, she was praying for me, praying for a miracle that God would bring me out of it, but I wasn't ready. I was living my life uh, wide open, no hope, no no peace, no uh, no hope for the future. Uh, it, it was just living and drive. I come home one night, and uh, I was strung out on drugs. And I remember laying in the bed, you know, rolled up into a fetal position, and uh, Annie's got a wet rag, and she's, she's rub rubbing my head, and she's rubbing my body, and she's praying for me. You know what, at, at that time, I felt love and anger at the same time, if that makes any sense. I, I loved that she was doing it, but I hated that I didn't understand why she was doing it. Uh, the, the night was crazy, but I went to bed that night strung out on drugs uh, with no hope, with no purpose. And I woke up the next morning, something inside of me had changed. I, I got up, I went to work, I quit my job. Uh, I came back home, uh, talked to Annie, uh, explained what I was feeling. and. I went upstairs in the room and I cried out to God to show me this love that my wife feels, the, the peace that she has through everything that I put her through. And I felt foolish praying because, you know, praying to what? There's nobody there. I'm just on my knees, I'm praying, but I knew there had to be something different. And God spoke to me in, in, in my room and not in a big audible voice, but just in a, uh, a small, still voice that give me a peace that I, I didn't know where it came from. I've never experienced a peace like that. That moment, that morning, is whenever I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, I just knew He was real. There was, there was no doubt in it. There was nothing that nobody could tell me different because the feeling that I felt could only come from God. I, there's no other way to explain it. 
So after I stepped over the line of faith, uh, so many things have changed. Uh, I guess primarily the way that I interact with people. Uh, before I stepped over the line of faith, before I accepted Jesus Christ, uh, I, I didn't care. Whenever I stepped over the line of faith, it, it just became different. Uh, I, uh, I love people. I hate to see people hurt. I, uh, I want to help people. I want to do everything that I can to make sure that the people that's around me uh, feels loved and, and feels the, the, the peace that I have and the hope that I have. Uh, it's just incredible. I know I'm not perfect by any means, and I know I'll never be perfect. Uh, but one thing I do know is every morning that I wake up, uh, there's a purpose for me. Uh, there's a purpose in my life. There's a, a reason for me to be alive today. And I know that I'm going to fall. But I also know that God is for me. He's going to be there. He's going to pick me up. And He's going to help me dust off. And He's going to help me move forward again. So that's the, that's the hope and purpose that that I take on every single day, just knowing that God is there with me. I'm not alone and he's got my back.